It's a new year, and you know, looking back at last year, a lot happened. This year, though, started off with me getting sick. I have spent the last three days lying on this sofa with a stomach bug, trying to edit a wedding video that I've been meaning to get done for ages, but finding it difficult because I'm also trying not to throw up. Not the way I thought this year would start. Hopefully this is over soon. Being as I was stuck indoors, feeling sorry for myself, I had plenty of time on my hands. Specifically, I had plenty of time to think, and that got me thinking about where I wanted this next year to go. What direction did I want to head in? What had I done well last year that I wanted to continue with? Which areas did I need to improve in to make this year better? And what was I sick of wasting my time on? Right, it's time to go and get a few things. In life we all follow subconsciously follow just rules and ways of doing things just because that's what everyone does and we just assume that that is the way to go about living life but really a lot of the time I don't think these things actually benefit us and I think sometimes if we were to just stop and think why am I doing this thing or why am I going about this part of my life in this way a lot of these rules that we follow don't really make much sense one example might be if you were to ask someone how do I earn a decent living they might say well you need a good job so you're gonna have to go to university but in reality most students that come out of uni have got a ton of debt no work experience and they struggle to find a job that's gonna pay off the loans for the course they were on I'm not trying to bash uni by the way I'm just saying like that's pretty common but then on the flip side, often the people that are paid the highest amount, you know, the Elons and the Jeffs of the world, these guys are not using any degree that they had. They, they all started companies in their bedrooms or garages with no idea what they were doing. And they just figured it out as they went along and that worked out great. I guess the point is that the conventional way of doing things or the conventional way of thinking about things isn't always the best anymore. I feel like last year I had a lot of these ways of doing things, these sorts of rules stuck in my head. And looking back, I, I don't think they did me any good whatsoever in retrospect. You know, without meaning to, I was kind of telling myself what I could and couldn't do based on nothing. You can't take the filmmaking full time yet. You need to niche down on YouTube. You need to earn more money, etc. Now I plan on addressing all of those thoughts and a lot more this year because the one thing that I'm sick of wasting time on more than anything and the underlying emotion with all of those thoughts is self-doubt. You know, on the face of it, self-doubt's probably a pretty normal thing to be feeling for someone in my situation right now. I've got some pretty big goals that I want to achieve this year. Here, yeah, let me show you actually. This is my list of goals for this year. There's some pretty big ones on here, but one of them is to completely blow up my filmmaking business and make it my full-time job. I guess that statement on its own doesn't really mean an awful lot to you. So let me show you. I've got a metaphor. I need to get those sweets. All right, this is a bit of an odd angle, but this is how I currently earn a living each month, window cleaning. That probably makes up three quarters of the money I earn. Then there's the filmmaking business. That probably amounts to about a quarter of my earnings. And then there's YouTube. Probably two, three percent. I have another channel that actually got monetized. I just don't really use it a lot. My aim for the end of the year is to have completely emptied this glass so that I can totally earn all of my living off of just filmmaking. And over time, I'm hoping to actually continue this transfer so that little by little, YouTube becomes 
the thing that earns me my money, but I don't really have a solid plan for that yet. All I know is that it's going to involve a way of reducing client work and increasing the amount of personal projects I do, but that has to be profitable first. The truth is, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure things out as I'm going along, and it's scary. I doubt myself constantly. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get to where I want to go, but... It's all part of the process, right? I've just got to push on and have faith that I will figure it out eventually. Finding the courage and the drive to make changes is hard. We live in a world where it's so easy to just sit back and follow the crowd, but if we want for things to progress and for our lives to get better, we need to be willing to break a few rules, so to speak. So be willing to spend more time in the real world. To take that extra shot. To go that extra mile. To take a chance on a new venture. To risk failure in pursuit of something worthwhile. To pursue authenticity over popularity. To be honest and leave everything else behind.